Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about the topic number systems. In the last session, we have discussed about the concept of number of ways. We have discussed about the concept of number of ways. Now, I will explain the problems related to number of ways. How to solve the big uh, number of ways for big numbers. For small numbers, it is very easy to write down. For big numbers, how to calculate the number of ways. I will take a one by one example in this session. See here, first question. Here, the concept is in how many ways? Basically, the format of asking the question. In how many ways? In how many ways? 132, 132 can be expressed, can be expressed as a product of, as a product of two factors, as a product of two factors. This is a general format in which he will ask the question. This is a general format. In how many ways 132 can be expressed as a product of two factors. Sometimes if the perfect squares are given, then uh, there is a chance of asking product of two different factors also. So, you must be aware of that particular statement whenever perfect squares are given. Whenever perfect squares are given, you must be in a position to see this particular statement carefully as a product of two factors or as, as a product of two different factors. Why? Because uh, when we are uh, getting odd number of factors for any perfect square, there are two cases. One is uh, as a product of two factors and the another one is as a product of two different factors, right? So, because of that reason, you must be in a position to observe this particular statement carefully, okay? Here, 132 is not a perfect square. Now, we will calculate how to solve this particular problem by using number of uh, factors, okay? First step is the common step uh, for each and every problem that is finding of number of factors and that too how to calculate number of factors once again i will repeat here because uh, in the last session already we discussed but again uh, to calculate number of ways number of factors are important here 132 can be expressed as a product of a uh, fact as a product of prime factors okay we can write this number as it is divisible by 2 right 2 into 6 times 6 times again it is divisible by here 66 is not a prime number again it is divisible by 2 2 into 33 again it is divisible by 3 3 into 11 now if you observe 2 2 3 11 all these are prime numbers we can write this 132 as 2 square into 3 power 1 into 11 power 1 that is uh, 132 first step is completed find uh, writing the given number in terms of prime factors that is completed and the second step is number of factors once the prime factors is completed number of factors is very simple number of factors are very simple that is adding 1 to the powers adding 1 to the powers and then multiplying each other. Here the power value is 2. 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. Adding 1 to the powers and then multiply all the values. Here this value is 3 into 2 into 2. 4 into 3. 4 into 3 which is equal to 12. Therefore the number of factors for this number. Number of factors are 12. Now, if you observe carefully, according to the rule of number of ways, if number of factors are even, 12 is even number, then number of ways is equal to, number of ways is equal to, number of factors, number of factors divided by 2 directly, right? If number of factors are even, then number of ways is equal to what? Number of factors divided by 2, which is equal to, here it is 12, 12 by 2, 6 ways. Therefore, 
we can write 132 as a product of two factors in six ways. This is the answer for this question, six. Let me explain one more example. Second example. See here, I will take a perfect square number here. I will take perfect square. If I take the perfect square number, uh, let us take uh, 676. 676 is a perfect square number. Okay. Now, write down this number. Even though if you are unable to identify whether it is perfect square or not, uh, directly you can calculate uh, first uh, number of factors. Uh, once you are getting odd number of factors, definitely that is a perfect square number. Okay. In that way also you can calculate. It is not mandatory whether that particular number is perfect square or not. First calculate directly number of factors. How can I write this number? Here we can write this number as 26 into 26. 26 into 26. Here 676 is a perfect square of 26. Therefore, which is equal to again we can write 26 as 2 into 13 and again one more 26 is there. This 26 also 2 into 13. Therefore, which is equal to 2 square into 13 square. 2 square into 13 square. 2 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number. So, first step is completed that is writing the given number in terms of prime factors. First step is completed successfully. Once it is done, you need to calculate number of factors. You need to calculate number of factors. Number of factors is very simple. Adding 1 to the powers and then multiply each other. Here the power value is 2 plus 1. Here the power value is 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. Which is equal to 3 into 3. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 9 factors. Number of factors for the number 676. Which is equal to 9 factors. Okay. Here if you observe carefully number of factors are odd. Number of factors are odd. Now. Whenever you are getting number of factors or odd, first check it out the question is as a product of as a product of two factors as a product of two factors or else as a product of as a product of two different factors. Check it out that statement in the given question. In case in the given question it is as a product of two factors as a product of two factors then directly number of ways is equal to number of ways is equal to number of factors plus 1 by 2 number of factors plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 5 ways which is equal to 5 ways. In case as in the given question, the statement is as a product of two different factors. As a product of two different factors. Then number of ways is equal to. Number of ways is equal to 9 minus 1 by 2. 9 minus 1 by 2. Which is equal to 4 ways. Which is equal to 4 ways. In this way, we can calculate a number of factors and number of ways. In the last sessions, I already explained about number of factors and uh, previous session and this session, we discussed about uh, number of ways. But you must be aware of uh, number of factors. Why? Because to calculate number of ways, it always depends on number of factors. Without knowing how to calculate number of factors, it is not at all possible to solve the problems related to number of ways and not only number of ways uh, based on number of factors uh, so many applications are useful in number systems topic so finding of number of factors is very important and writing the given number in terms of prime factors that is also very important guys uh, i think number of ways concept as well as examples you are in a position to understand all the problems uh, this is the way of doing the problems related to 
number of uh, ways. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.